we now want to take you out onto the field, the robotics competitions field, that is. Franklin High School's robotics teams, they're making some noise with two of their teams currently ranked in the top 100 of, get this, the world. That's right, and their upperclassmen team, na named Genesis, ranks second in the world, while their freshman team, the Oriental Express, ranks number 86 in the world. Our KTSM 9 News reporter Jesus Baltasar spoke with the students and their teacher. He joins us live now in the studio tonight with the latest. Jesus. These rankings are a form of power rating that measure how high school robotics teams have performed up to a specific point in the year. Franklin's computer science teacher and the students say it is a good indicator of how the robot might stack up in upcoming competitions and reflects the hard work they put during the off season. Red Alliance, you ready? You ready? Blue Alliance, you ready? All right, let's go. Let's get it on. With four local tournament championships under their belt this year, Team Genesis has their sights set on UIL State playoffs and returning to the VEX World Championship in Dallas. Started early on in May and worked throughout the entire summer. And so by the time we compete already, we're already like at the highest level that we can get to. I want to make Franklin High School and El Paso get known around the world. Because a lot of times when we travel, not really anyone knows what El Paso is. It's a small town in Texas, but I'm trying to get up there. These students put long hours to designing, building, and programming a robot that they will put on a 12 by 12 square field for competition, consisting of game-based engineering challenges to test what robots can perform certain tasks the best. And these students love it, but they say it demands their A-game and relentless drive. Robotics? It's not just the competition, it's not just robotics for real. I'd say it's a mentality. Mentality to pursue your dreams, not just here in the high school level, but up here in college. Not necessarily waiting in the wings are the Oriental Express freshman team with three local tournament championships of their own. We've always stayed here every single day until like 7 or 8 p.m. just working and building, coding. And like I said, hard work, hard work really does pay off. And we believe, like, if we, if we communicate well, we can get anything done. Now, all of these students have their sights set on pursuing careers in different fields of engineering. And their teacher says what they're achieving now reflects the effort and resources that are being poured into robotics and STEAM education in the borderland. If you would like to learn more of this story, head on over to our website, ktsm.com. Reporting in studio, Jesus Baltasar, KTSM 9 News.